this video we're looking at Microsoft Whiteboard for iOS. So it's an app, it's available as a browser, but the app is more fully featured. So when you launch the app, you can create new ones or you can edit existing ones. Click on the three dots below the existing one. You can invite our participants, you can export it, you can delete it, and you can also name it. So we're gonna create a new one. In the top right hand corner, we've got three lines next to the username. We click on there and there's various things we can we can make an active pen so that it's more dynamic based on the pressure you're putting on we can do ink to shape so as you draw a shape it turns into the actual shape same with the table we have object snapping so you can snap objects we can export it as an image png or as a high quality svg we can also format the background so potentially if you had a student who's dyslexic they may want less contrast so you could have maybe a blue background for those of you teaching maths you could add a graph or if you're teaching something that's more focused on written you could have a lined background i'm just going to go with a plain one and white and we'll go back we can move the toolbar location so we could have it at the left hand side the right hand side or the bottom we can clear the canvas and there's an accessibility checker there as well. So that's the menu that you access by clicking on the, the three lines just to the right of your name. It's also possible to add additional collaborators. Click on the plus person and then you can add by email. So I can see it being used maybe by a tutor working with students or students working collaboratively together. So we click on the pen tool, we can choose a colour and we can start to write. As I said, if you draw a shape, it will, in theory, make it into a, let's try a triangle, make it into a thing, but you do need to join all of the dots together. If you make a mistake, you can choose the eraser and rub out any drawing that you've done. We've also got a lasso tool which will allow you to make a selection of something. Having made a selection, we can cut it, part of it. If we make a mistake, we can just do undo. If we want, we can bring up a ruler and we can spin it round. So potentially if you're doing something with mass, you could involve some element of scale or measuring. When you want to get rid of the ruler tool, just re-click it. Same with the lasso tool. Click. Click on the image. You can add an image. If you click and hold on the image, it will allow you to reposition the image on the canvas. You can also scale it and rotate it by grabbing the little dot in the bottom left hand corner of the image. You can copy it. You can like it, which if you're working collaboratively with people, they'll be able to like each other's ideas. And you can add alt text. So you can add alternate text if, uh, to, as a way of improving the accessibility. So that's adding images. We can add a post-it note and we can type in. Again, if we click and select it, we can alter the size of it. We can move it around our canvas we can change the color of it, we can make a copy of it, we can give it a thumbs up. If we click on the pencil tool, we can edit the text within it. And then we can also, if we click on the plus, we've got a paste option. We've got add text, so that will just allow us to type some text in. And again, we can select it by clicking on it, we can change the color of it. And by clicking on the pencil tool, we can edit it. Go back to the plus tool, we can add a note grid, we can add a list, we can have a template preview, we can access the camera, or we can add a sticker. So there you have it. I think this would be a great way to get students and teachers collaborating, uh, a way to record their ideas, capture some of those transit conversations that happen, and then share it by exporting it as an image or sending it to OneNote or posting on Teams. So there you have it, a quick guide to the Microsoft Whiteboard app for iOS. Hope you found that useful. Keep watching, keep subscribing, and join me again soon for more EdTech videos.
Thanks for watching.